Hey, what's up? It's 411 Uncut, and we back with another episode. Today, we got very special guest, No Soda, with us. What's up? What's up with it, man? Y'all know what's going on, man. No Soda in the building, man. Chilling, man. I ain't doing nothing, man. Hey, it's about time. Yeah, for sure, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's overdue because I was at uh, Taft High School um, not too long ago, and the kids came up to me. They said they want to see No Soda on 411 Uncut. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Downtown, all the kids everywhere, man. They rocking with No Soda, man. They rocking with me. I got the streets, man. Man, I I'm know. I know. So, look, um, I know you're from Cincinnati, but tell us, what part of Cincinnati are you from? I'm from downtown Cincinnati, the West End. Lynn Street, Lord Holmes, all that, man. York and Lynn, man. The finest, man. You know what I mean? That's how we coming. For, for sure, sure, for sure. What was it like for you being a kid growing up uh, in the West End? Growing up in the West End was like, uh, it was like any other neighborhood, dangerous neighborhood in, in America, you know what I mean? Just trying to survive, trying to make it. Hustling, you know what I mean? You know, just trying to get them to survive in a, in a, in a hard place like that, you know what I mean? For sure. Now, do you feel like uh, being from downtown really shaped you, you know, to be Yeah, yeah, today? for sure, for sure. If I went from down there, I wouldn't even be like how I am, for sure, for sure. Nah, like coming from down there, you got to be like, you know what I mean? That's a, that's a different type of environment. So, you know, you got to be on point coming up, growing up down there. For sure. So, uh, when did you get into music? So, like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of artists from downtown that really got the city on lock. They had the city on lock for a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what inspired you to get into music? Like, all my guys I always been rapping. Like, all my niggas rap. Like, I got a few, I got like four, five niggas that rap that's really putting on for the city. And they always been telling me to rap. I always knew I could do it, so... I just started fucking around. I caught a case and ended up started just uh, dropping after I caught my case and that shit just, it popped. That's how it went. For sure. Man, I've always seen you around um, yeah. other artists. Like you always support uh, other artists that was from from your hood whenever they yeah. got shows, interviews. For you sure. was always the guy that was popping for up. For sure, for sure. Yeah, out. I always been around. Back in the day, man, anybody that rap from my hood, I don't care who it is. If you from my area and we locked in, yeah, I was around for sure. I'm one of them type. So, so that's how I go. You know how that shit go. Yeah. So tell me, uh, what's your relationship like with Scally? Because I, I think I really met you through Scally the first yeah. time we met. So tell me, yeah. what's your uh, relationship like with Scally? Scally, that's like my brother. This ain't no, no rap shit or nothing. Like, yeah, we from the same hood. I grew up under him. You know what I mean? Been watching him, been listening to him my whole life. And that's how that shit go. I started fucking with him when I was young, and I've been hanging with him since I was young, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's my boy for real. That ain't no rap shit or nothing. That's my brother. For sure. I could tell y'all like family because yeah. he definitely uh, made sure he uh, vouched uh, yeah, for, for you. Yeah, sure, for, for sure, for sure. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's family. Yeah, there ain't no rap shit. Tell me, what do you think it is about downtown that makes it to where a lot of the music from downtown really gets pushed throughout the whole city? The DJs like it. Like, y'all have a certain sound coming from downtown. What do you think it is about the downtown area to where they kind of somewhat <laughs> lead the city on the music side? Nah, they know what's up with us, man. That shit just authentic, man. That shit just is too real. Man, everybody know how we coming down there, man. If you if you if you in Cincinnati, you know what's going on with downtown, man. That's just how it go, man. Everybody know, I don't care what neighborhood you in. Your mama done told you back in the day, boy. Be safe when you go through that shit, boy. And just it's just we we grew up around different shit, so we grew up seeing different shit, so we just talk about like I said, we we talking about different shit. Everybody, it's it's, it's going on everywhere, but. It's just like down there, man. That shit, like, it's different, man. Man. That's all I can say, man. But yeah, we gonna put on for sure. For sure, man. I even hear Skylar Black shouting you out in yeah. um, her song, like yeah. one of her biggest singles right now. <laughs> she's she's talking about you in it. Yeah. Uh, tell me, what's it? What's your relationship like with Skylar Black? That's family. That's family, man. That's like we we real family. That's my cousin. Yeah, you know I mean, I've been. Uh, she one of the reasons I started rapping too. She. Uh, just push me to, I you know mean, keep going with this shit and uh, get on it. Yeah, you know I mean, she the, one of my biggest influences too. Like the reason why I'm doing this shit. So, yeah, you know I mean, that's what that is with her. That's family, for sure. 